everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do this effortless, ah. wavy look. I don't know what you'd ah. call these. They're not really beachy, but they're just like effortless waves. So if you want to accomplish this look, then just stay tuned and keep watching. Alright, starting off, I'm going to go in and brush out my hair. This is, I washed my hair last night, so it's clean. I'm going to get my alligator clip and I'm just going to section off. So what I usually like to do, I usually just go in with my curling wand and I'll just go in and curl it. But because I have curly hair and sometimes people have like those little, <laughs> I call these little hairs like, in, like bug antennas because every time I curl my hair or I straighten it, there's always these little stragglers that like to go out like little insect ears. So what I usually like to do is um, just curl the ends and then at the very end I'll go in with a straightener and just kind of comb these little baby hairs out a little bit. What I use to curl my hair is I use the Bella Me wand and this is so amazing. I love it. And I use the biggest barrel. I use the 32 millimeter one and this just gives you these big beautiful curls. I'm going to take a medium to small section and I'm just going to start up top pretty high and just work. And then I don't really care about if I curl the ends because I'm just going to straighten them anyway. And I know that sounds really weird, but I'm just, you'll see. So, just let that go. So now you have this really pretty curl. And you could just leave it like this, you know, you could just do your whole hair like this, it's fine. But I'm going to show you what I do towards the end. Take another section. And you always want to make sure your wand is pointing down. You don't want to start flipping your wand going up and down, you know, cricket sideways. Always want it to go down so you want the curls to all be the same. And then another perfect curl. So I finished curling the bottom section. Another thing I forgot to mention is when you're wrapping your hair, make sure it's all going away from your face. You're curling away, not towards your face. Just a pointer. Totally forgot to mention that. My bad. Now we're going to go in with the straightener. And for the straightener, I'm using my Paul Mitchell Pro Tools. And this is just what I got in hair school. I love the straightener. It's really nice. It heats up super, super fast. So now I'm just going to take maybe like two sections of curls that I did. See how that part kind of like curls? What I'm going to do is just straighten that out. So I'm just going to go in and just straighten that part out. So now it should just look loose. And at first it may start looking kind of weird like you just curled your hair and now you're going to straighten the ends like this is weird. But at the end you'll see how it's just like this effortless wave to some people this might be too much work, but to others maybe this might be a really easy look. I know that I really like this look, it's really fast, once you get the hang of it you just go boom boom boom, straight straight straight, and then you walk out the door. So just, just wait till the very end to see what this looks like, okay? So anyway, then I usually just flip that to the back, and then I'm going to take this next section, and the same, I'm just going to straighten the end, just very little, and then, as you can see, this side's like really curled, and this side is like effortless. Wait. If your section is a little tangly, just be careful. Make sure that when you comb it, you get it away from the bottom curls so you don't mess up the bottom ones. Before I go in, I think I'm going to straighten these little babies out first, real quick. Okay, so I got those little curly cues down. Makes a big difference, because then, I mean, they're going to look all good, and these are going to be like, psh, look, sassy little bug, bug ears.
I'm going back in with my straightener. I'm going to go in and straighten the second section. So again, I just want to get rid of that little curl. So I'm just going to go in, straighten that out. Perfect. Straightening my top section, it's such a big difference. Like, you seriously look at it and you're like, oh, it's not that much straightening. And then afterwards, you see like this huge difference. Like, boy, do I have really crazy hair up there. And this is my last section. So let's just finish it right up. So just a little tip about these these like bang sections. I like to have mine kind of like swoop in front of my forehead a little bit. But if you don't like that, if you like kind of push away, then just do it regular, push it back. But if you like and push towards just a tad bit, I like to take this front section right here and with my curler, I just do it right in front of my face. Just be careful not to burn your nose or anything, but just take it right in front of there. And that way it's kind of like pulling the curl towards your face. And then I'm just gonna let go. And then you can see it just kind of swoops right in front of your face a little bit. And then the second section, I kind of pull it forward just a tad bit, just like that, and I curl that too, and just kind of make sure it's kind of pushing in towards your face, and then just let it go. So this is the finished look. In the video I talked about how maybe the first time you do it, it might seem like it takes a really long time, but once you get the hang of it, it actually goes by really fast. This hairstyle can last you a couple days, like maybe within a couple days probably like the third day you're loose your curls will be super loose so you might have to touch up the curls again but this is such a simple and easy effortless look I think it looks so cute and so pretty you can go in with some hairspray and just kind of spray it all down I like to use the Paul Mitchell Express Dry and it's called it's the stay strong I like this because it smells super super good but it doesn't leave your hair like super crunchy I feel like it keeps your curls in keeps your hair in place but it doesn't leave that French, you know. You can also put in some bedhead. Just squeeze a little bit in your hand, and it just leaves your hair looking really silky and shiny. But I feel like my hair is already kind of shiny right now, so I don't want to put that in. If you have really oily hair, maybe you should skip this step if you wanting if you're wanting to leave this hair cell in your hair for a couple days without washing. I would skip this step, just so you know. But if you want to add some volume to it, you can just go in and just kind of tease up the root a little bit, so it's not too flat, you know. Yeah, you bugs! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm in the middle of recording and my daughter has just gone into the closet and I seriously spent like two hours the other night like reorganizing her closet, like folding all of her clothes to perfection. And she has just gone through the whole dang closet. Kaya bugs, what have you done? Mommy has spent so much time cleaning. What have you done? Well, the things that happen when you have a baby. I crushed down. <laughs> Did you find this hat in the closet while you were making a mess? Huh? <laughs>